Hello, in this video I would like to show you 7 Google search services you might want to use in class. Number 1. Knowledge Graph. If I go to Google search and type in Nelson Mandela for example, the knowledge graph shows up here on my right hand side. I can cut this out using the Snagit extension. And I can easily insert this into a presentation by going to the most recent files, information about Nelson Mandela. And I won't have to switch between my presentation and Google search in the classroom. I can also compare things, for example, pears versus bananas, and I get the different nutritional information of these fruits. Number two, image search. If I would like to show my students what an English breakfast looks like, simply need to type in English breakfast. And here we go. Number three, Google Trends. You go to trends.google.com. You can use Google Trends in class for a variety of discussion activities. For example, you could show the top trends of 2013 or the global interest in Lego. You can visualize hot searches in full screen. Google Trends is very easy to use. Just type in your search at the top. So I can refine my search, Gravity 2013 film, and I want to compare this against the wolf, the wolf of Wall Street 2013 film and here I can see the search interest. You could even make a game out of it and try to predict the winner of the 2014 Academy Awards. You can always add new terms You can also use Google Trends as a kind of timeline. For example, I type in Syria. The spikes in search interest are compared to news events. You can also use Google Autocomplete as a kind of meta search. For example, I was talking in class about stereotypes with my students. And if you want to find out what people think about a certain nation, just type in why are the Spanish so? And you get a list of things people think about Spanish people. Cruel to animals, rude, lazy, and so on. Why do the British always talk about the weather? Say bloody, wear hats, complain, say brilliant, say sorry, drink tea. You get some nice stereotypes about British people. The Ngram viewer searches books. You can use that for a variety of activities in your class. For example, to teach grammar, sneak versus snuck. And you can visualize how snuck became more popular in the 1980s, whereas it was almost non-existent before that. Or you could research slang, for example, chill out. You can see chill out really became popular only in the 90s. You can change the dates here and visualize how chill out became popular as a term for relaxing. You always have a calculator available. You just need to type in calculator and you can type that with a projector, for example. There's also a graphing calculator. If you type in y equals sine of x. You can interactively show what a sine wave looks like. And finally, if you set a timer to 15 minutes, for example, if you've got a discussion activity in class going on, you have got a timer available. Here you can go full screen and you can turn off or on the sound. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go to my blog or YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on how to learn and teach with free Google tools.